called Evelyn Manyarawa Haviona. I come from Uganda and I'm a senior planner for Works and Transport. I work with the National Planning Authority. Uh, I'm glad to be part of this course. And first of all, I would like to thank IDEP and the UN for organizing this course and for considering us to participate in this particular course because it is so enriching. Mm, during the time here, we found the course so interesting and it has been both theoretical and practical. I like the practical bit of it, where we're able to go to as far as using some templates and uh, design software to identify critical challenges in Africa and uh, be able to come up with strategies of how to solve the, the most critical challenge. I'm hopeful that if we applied this kind of analysis to our daily work environment, it would be very helpful for us in terms of problem identification and, uh, and, uh, and uh, strategy development for the different problems identified in the different areas of uh, our job. Um, we have explored quite an, a wide range of uh, topics and uh, issues right from the policies and institutional arrangements, the type of transport in Africa, and the, we have discussed the sustainable means of transport, and the, we are discussing also how to fund, fund the, the transport development in Africa, which is a critical challenge identified uh, across the participants of the course. Mm. Um, the, the lecturers have been, have been so patient with us and the students were cooperative. Uh, the environment was generally conducive for the study. Um, uh, and I think, I think we, we had it all. Um, uh, maybe we would, would have loved to have more time because it was a bit compressed to explore more into details of a number of aspects but uh, we were able to work within what was available. I like the nature of assignments given to us both in, uh, both in groups and individually. They were really, uh, they were really down to the daily issues which we face in our African transport infrastructure and the service sector. To me particularly as a planner, it is really critical and I think especially like I mentioned the, the template used for critical problem identification and for coming up with a strategy is really applicable in my area because that would help me come up with more feasible solutions to the challenges as we, as we plan for development of the country. And I'm sure it applies not only to Uganda, but to every other participant who has been in the course in the different areas. So say for example, people in ministries, people at different levels, um, are, handling, are handling different modes of transport in the sector. And each, each sector has its different challenges. So when it comes to prioritizing which, 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 which challenge to be given attention, I think this module would be critical depending on the, on the problem commonly raised by the modes of transport, the different commonly, commonly facing the different modes of transport, and also the strategy would be helpful as a whole. Mm, uh, I also think, I also think that in the, the, the discussed sources of financing are very critical, especially that that is the key challenge everywhere. So if we explore more about them and make necessary preparations for, for, for the financing, as we have been taught in this module, then we should be able to get on to a better, to a better a better platform than we were before. And then I also want to comment about sustainable transport infra infrastructure in Africa, which I find so critical for us. We, 
with the most challenges revolving around congestion, financing, poor transport, trans, poor transport infrastructure designs that don't get, do not get a for non-motorized transport and the rest. I, I would think it is an area we should do real advocate for to improve on our transport systems in, the, in Africa as a continent. Um, maybe before I go to the recommendation, um, I'll maybe to bring more light on how I could apply this, the information got in, is that uh, we always have planning for us and uh, as the National Planning Authority, we are in charge of planning for the whole country. So we are very key at uh, leading the planning process. And we, monitor, we don't only plan, but also monitor the implementation of what is planned. At, uh, both for during implementation, even before implementation. So we monitor both projects that are being implemented and not, so we'd be able to follow up on these key elements. Um, a number of issues were already being considered, like the global agendas in the planning but now, and the sustainable development. So this is a chance to follow up. Uh, to follow up with much vigor than before and uh, see how things are getting on in the sectors. I'm sure it is a cross-cutting issue across all the participants in our different spheres of operations. Despite the different nature of jobs we are doing, we all participate in transport, in transport planning and development in Africa.